up, man? 25 gamers. Let's hop into this last play real quick out of our man blitz. And uh, today's video is just going to focus on our man pressure. Uh, we're not going to talk a whole lot about um, you. Can I mean? I don't really run it. The way I run it is it's similar to the way we ran the stink pinch last week, uh, where we just call it uh, in those really short yardage situations and say, "Hey, he's still zone on a game." So when he sees man, he's going to freak out. Okay, the play is Sugar Blitz. We talked about that earlier. This is also our run defense. What you want to do is, all you need to do to set this pressure up, shift. You don't have to base a line out of this. You don't have to base a line. What I want you to do is, I want you to shift your linebackers to the right side of the screen. I then want you to man align your play, call press coverage, spread your defensive line, and then you can put Bishop in a zone. He's your user player. Now here you see a matchup issue. Smith went to the wrong side here. He needs to be over here. So the man line feature should either should do that automatically for us. If it doesn't, just note you're going to have to user that. Okay? Just know that. But here you're going to see. Um, I don't understand. I think it's because we've ran the same blitz several times. Um, let me just run. Let me just run. Um, just let me see if I can maybe. See, so sometimes, guys, when you're in practice mode, if you ran the same blitz like seven times, it'll start figuring out, figuring out your concepts and just pick it up for no reason. But anyway, so taking a look at this, remember, what I want you to do is shift your linebackers to the right. Um, uh, spread your defensive line, press coverage, and then call man a line. And here again, if that happens, put Bishop over there to guard against the wheel route. And uh, I don't know why I'm not getting guys free off that right edge. I, uh, oh, yeah, remember that we talked about that in the other video. Uh, the placement of the linebacker is crucial. If the linebackers – one thing you can also do, guys, if you want, just rebush your linebackers before you spread them or before you shift them to the right and then do everything the same. And it will just shoot – it will shoot green way off. Um, it doesn't come as fast. That's par for the course, but – it, it's more consistent. Um, the first pressure setup I gave you guys today, um, it doesn't always, as you can, as you guys can tell, it doesn't always come in because the placement of the linebacker is not always the best. There you see it comes in fine, but it's just it's all based on the. It actually works really good in game. I don't know. Sometimes in practice mode, it just doesn't work right. Um, that's just par for the course, though. So anyway, uh, let's go over this setup one more time. And even if the pressure doesn't come in, it's it's more or less the coverage mix-up that's going to throw them off. So um, remember, what you want to do, you want to save this play for really crucial short yardage situations. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come out. You're going to you're going to um, <laughs> I forgot the setup already. <laughs> oh man, brain fart. Uh, you're going to spread your defensive line, shift your linebackers to the right, put Bishop in a zone. Typically, I'll put him in just random zone, uh, something random. I don't really use or anybody on this play. I'll let the play do its thing. And then you're going to press coverage and man align. And you're going to see here. You're going to just going to try to get pressure. And if it, you know, sometimes it'll come in, sometimes it won't in practice mode. But in game mode, you should be fine, uh, unless they block a running back or something. And remember, this play is not designed. Um, to be a great pressure, to be a great whatever. This is designed as a mix-up play on that short yard situation where you're trying to throw your opponent off and make him um, not be able to convert on third and two, third and three. So just note that um, and be sure to adjust accordingly. Uh, so remember, you know, you can put, so say something like this happens where the alignment's bad. Well, then you can put, Maybe something like this, flow coverage to the outside, take advantage of it, and the pressure is going to come in hard on the right. So just understand your, your play and know when to call it at the right time, and I'm sure this play is going to give you guys a lot of stops on third down and fourth down, but also be aware you don't want to call this play on early downs or long yardage situations because it can get burned over the top because it is a cover zero blitz. Thank you guys for watching this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Scheme of the Week. Be sure to stay tuned uh, for the team breakdown so you guys know the depth chart I want to recommend for this. And also be sure to stay tuned for the gameplay breakdown uh, so you can see how I use all of these plays in-game, when you should call them, and uh, my advice. And you can also probably learn from my mistakes. Thanks for watching today, guys. If you have any questions or any problems with this pressure, uh, let me know. I'll try to help you guys as much as I can. Um, but be sure to note 
the practice mode does sometimes mess up your blitzes for no reason so you can check it out in play now mode or just random head-to-head -head game uh, and just learn it and just learn how the setup works so thanks for watching today be sure to check out the gameplay this weekend and we'll see you guys uh, we'll see you guys next week for another great scheme of the week signing off uh, see you about here